All right, guys, let's talk about the free Harbor Freight multimeter real quick. Now, a lot of people are going to tell you, stay away from Harbor Freight. Don't buy anything. It's all garbage. And I got to say, right off the bat, I used to be of that mindset. I'm really a big Harbor Freight guy now. There are certain things that are just absolute gold. And one of them is the free multimeter. These are normally only like six bucks. They're really cheap anyway. But you can get them with the, the free coupon. And so, of course, you know, over time, you end up with boxes of them <laughs> um so yeah so in the end let's just talk about this real quick years ago i bought this 30 dollars harbor freight multimeter because i thought this wouldn't cut it for a regular household use and so you know i spent that 30 bucks i really hate this multimeter it's big it's bulky it's not very accurate i do have friends with flukes and i've tested against flukes and uh you know, it's fine for this sort of thing, but when it comes down to real, you know, accuracy, it's not there. I mean, neither of them are there, but the thing is, these are equally inaccurate, I guess is the way to put it, um, when it comes down to it. If you really want, you know, quality, you got to pay for it. But in the end, if you're looking for, you know, voltage to two decimal places, this is actually quite good. Uh, this is more than your average person needs for the household, you know, whether it's checking batteries, outlets checking your car battery, things like that. This is very, very adequate. And then really the only major difference, the functions are the same. They both do AC and DC current. They both do AC and DC voltage. They both have a continuity checker. The only really major difference between the two of these is that this one has more scales. And I could really care less about the scales because I'm perfectly capable of moving decimal points around in my mind. So, you know, in the end, is it really that important to me? No. So in the end, I feel like I bought this for 30 bucks and it's okay. I got this for free and it's also okay. I think they're equally okay. And in the end, when it comes down to your money and saving your money and putting your money towards good things, I really think with Harbor Freight, sometimes there's certain things like this little multimeter that are completely and totally capable of doing the household jobs, the small household jobs. We're not talking electronic engineers here, folks, just regular household jobs, checking outlets, checking batteries, checking electronics, you know, troubleshooting, you know, your washer, dryer, things like that. More than you need. So with that, guys, I just wanted to show it real quick. When you get these, don't be afraid of them. As you can see here, these are, you know, both showing, you know, these are accurate with each other. They are, you know, it's not that they're, they're in, it's not that they're inaccurate. It's just that they're not capable of finer readings, I guess is the best way to put it. So in the end, these things are, you know, don't go to Home Depot, blow 30 bucks on something free that'll do the same job. I guess is the moral of the story. These are pretty cool. They're pretty easy to use. You know, not a ton of features, but they're simple, accessible to the average everyday dude. You know, like I said, AC, DC voltage, AC, DC amps, continuity checker, resistance, all those basic things that you need for around the house. Perfect for what uh, I need, and I'm completely and totally happy with that. And I will, every chance I get one of those coupons, go out and grab one of these, because you know what, there's always friends who need them. Lose them, break them, whatever, you know, just nice to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed.